Hello guys, Al here at the range today with the Bear Creek Arsenal model BCA15 multi-caliber. Now that does not mean that you can shoot a multitude of calibers through this as it came to me. It came to me with a 300 blackout barrel in here and I am to understand this simply means that the lower or receiver here is set up to receive uppers or barrels that will handle or shoot different calibers. I would not advise trying or attempting to shoot anything other than 300 blackout as this came to me. Okay, it does have the adjustable stock here, very old school adjustable stock, probably the first type of stock that ever came on an AR-15, what I like to refer to as the cheese grater here at the back does have the sling attachment built into it but as you know relatively cheaply that can be replaced if you wanted a different type of stock on there but again trying to keep the cost down it does have a cheaper adjustable stock on there that may matter to you that may not matter to you it does not have an extended beaver tail grip on here it's just your standard AR grip on here with a single ledge or finger groove nicely stippled on the sides and serrated on the back nothing nothing special again just a standard cheaper grip angled grip on here it does not have a single point attachment at the rear and has the rear charging handle it weighs in at 8.25 pounds and it does not ship unfortunately does not ship with a magazine but not to worry I got some magazines no problem it is a 16 inch barrel with a very nice flash hider on here it is a heavy barrel with a one and eight a one and eight rate of twist this is a 15 I believe maybe 15 and one quarter maybe 15 inch rail here with M lock attachments all the way around it here um, to basically mount just about anything you want to I'm going to be putting a, a glass up here a little bit later just for the range, just for fun, if you will. And the barrel finish is Parkerized material. It's 4150 chrome molly vanadium. So even though it is a budget-friendly rifle, it does have some nice features for a budget-friendly rifle. Because let's face it, I mean, is it a... Is it a you know daniel defense you know is it um is, is it an fn is it a coat no of course not but you're paying you know two three thousand dollars for those rifles and you can pick this up well right now it's selling for about four and a half four hundred and fifty bucks somewhere around that neighborhood i will put a link in the right hand corner of the screen you can click on now if you want to go over there and pick pick you one up the thread pitch is 5 8 by 24 again as mentioned it is a 300 blackout 300 blackout feed ramp non-fluted and a pistol length gas system gas block is 0.75 charging style rear charging as i've already mentioned ar platform bolt material is e9 310 whatever the heck that means I'm not sure. I'm just telling you what the specs on it are. And we want to shoot it is basically what we want to do. At the front of the rail here, it does have on each side a place to attach a QD for your sling. If you, again, it does have an attachment at the back of the stock here if you wanted to attach you a sling on there you can easily do that by getting you a QD attachment also has one here at the rear so both ends of the handguard it does have it does have and this handguard can be removed with these eight that's right I said it eight screws that is a lot of screws to remove your handguard but they can be taken off and remove your handguard here and i'm sure there's some things i left out i'm going to shoot this thing a little bit and then we'll talk a little bit more about maybe some of the things i might have left out so let's get right to that so the first things that the trolls are going to say is that dude don't even have a set of flip-ups or a red dot on that thing 
what in the heck is he shooting at? Well, I put 20 rounds of American Eagle, 150 grain brass. I do have some wolf steel too. I'm not shooting at anything in this first magazine. I just loaded up 20 rounds. I personally, myself, have never shot a 300 blackout. Now, I've heard people say, oh, it's loud. Oh, it recoils heavy. It's this, it's that. I don't know any of those things. This is my first time ever shooting a 300 blackout, and you guys get to witness that. So I just, I simply want to feel the trigger. I want to feel out the gun. You know, the recoil, the function, does it function? Does it eject? Does it have any malfunctions? I don't care anything at this moment about distance shooting or getting on target or anything. I might move back up range a little bit and do a little bit of that. But for right now, I wanna put these 20 rounds through here, just nothing more than making sure that the rifle does function. So without further ado, let's, uh, let's get right to it. <laughs> All 20 rounds without issue. It is not hot. Now I know it's only 20 rounds. So got that out of the way. And I'll say this, this being the first time I've ever shot a 300 blackout, uh, the recoil didn't really feel much different to me than my 223s and my AR-15s that I shoot. In fact, it was a pleasure to shoot this cheese grater stock did not eat into me at all as I expected it to or you know as I had listened to people and they told me it would but and another thing another thing I like I, you know if you watch the channel I'm a big fan of Springfield Armory AR-15 and the nickel I think it's a nickel boron triggers that they have and the reset they have on the trigger this is not a nickel boron trigger, 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 but it has a very, very nice reset. Um, the trigger is not bad at all. And let's see here. I mean, it does have a little bit. The reset is real short, real audible, real tactile, and very, very nice. I like the reset on the trigger. I will say that for sure. Um, now, it hits a wall, and it has this weird, almost catchy grit type feeling before it breaks. I don't know what that is. Maybe it would work itself out. But it's almost like it pushes your finger back. I mean, the reset is almost as if it resets itself. Very nice reset on the trigger. Trigger's a little bit weird. A little bit weird on the yeah it's, it's 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 heavy for sure and it's not got a whole lot of take up but it hits a wall and then it has this like the best way I can describe it is like a catchy feeling in the trigger again not I mean I've been told that people use a 300 blackout for hunting and stuff like that so maybe a trigger would matter that much to you I mean, if you were using this in a defensive situation, of course, like you've heard me say before, I don't know that that would really matter, but if you were laid down behind it, taking in a, a distant shot, you know, having that little catch in the trigger, whatever that is, and again, it may work itself out, might be a problem, I don't know. And I can't make you feel what I feel in the trigger, but um, the reset is phenomenal, phenomenal reset. But even after the reset, so, so I don't know if you can hear that on my lapel mic, but it's like, it's, it's kind of hard to pull the trigger back. And then it kind of has like this catchy, it's, it's hard to explain. And then it breaks. Let's see after the reset. So you have the reset and it's, I don't know if you could hear that or not, but it's the same thing even after the reset. It's like, a little catch, 
can't really explain it. Don't know what it is. Totally not going to be shooting this enough to work it out, I don't think. I brought 200 rounds with me. I plan to put all 200 through it. But uh, let's shoot a little bit more and, and we'll talk a little bit more about it. Literally just got done putting 180, I mean, yeah, 180 rounds through this thing. I, I kept 20 for myself, but 180 rounds, I did have one hang up with the steel ammunition, but I think, I can't be certain of this, but I think that it was because I it was when I was loading the steel wolf ammunition and I'm 99% sure I put one too many in the magazine and I caused the feeding problem. But other than that, man, I could not be happier with this rifle. You know, people have told me, oh, check it, man. You know, they, they have a history of things getting loose while you're shooting, coming apart, things of that nature. The All of the bolts I checked just now with my fix-it fix it sticks and all of them are tight and none of them have worked themselves loose. Man, this thing was an absolute blast to shoot out here today. Some may say your first experience with a 300 Blackout should not have been a budget-friendly rifle, but I beg to differ because now, now I want another one. Now I totally want another one. And I guess probably the most impressive thing for me is that I ran that through there in short fashion the very first shots that you saw without the red dot or the glass was me just checking for function now those were indeed the very first shots and so but from that time till right now has literally been about 25 minutes you know however long it took me to run 180 i had four magazines they were all 556 five, magazines that's right i said it and they all functioned flawlessly and from, I had four of them loaded up. So as you can probably imagine, it didn't take me long to get through that shooting at different angles and so forth. Just surprisingly accurate. But I guess one of the most surprising things to me is that I had a, 
a, um, I'm trying to think of the brand I had, AR-15. It wasn't Radical. Um, anyway, I can't remember, but the, the handguard got like crazy, crazy hot. I mean, so hot after about 100, 120 rounds that literally when I laid it on top of the blanket that I had on the Jeep there, it melted into the blanket. I guess one of the most surprising things is I do not have a foregrip, angled foregrip, or, or a, um, a vertical foregrip, or anything like that on here, and I'm still, and was still able throughout the entire time to grab anywhere on this hand guard that I wanted to grab. Yes, it's warm, but in no way hot. Like, totally not frying an egg on this one. So that is very surprising to me um, for around, you know, that hot and having shot it that often or that that much in a very short amount of time. I am impressed with the firearm. Totally, for $479 or less, I know I only put 180 rounds through it. That's not a longevity test, but unless somebody's sending me ammunition to shoot this thing, that's all I got for you because it cost me about $170 for 200 rounds of ammo to, you know, to basically um, keep myself out 20 rounds. And so, and that's just because I liked it so much. I, I don't know. I just want to keep 20 in case I want a friend or something to shoot the thing. But either way, love the rifle, had no problems. So let's see if the trigger, I never did, I never did uh, notice while I was shooting. So let's see if that situation worked itself out. It absolutely did. That is shocking. Hold on. It absolutely worked itself out. I don't know what it was, but if you can rewind the video and go back to the front of the video, and you listen when I first started pulling the trigger, you would hear, or maybe you could hear, I'm not sure if the lapel mic picks it up, but you felt this little catch and it made a little audible sound and then it would break. Absolutely is not doing that now. That is shocking. That is smooth now. I don't know if there was a burr on it. I don't really know. I did not oil the gun. The gun has not been oiled. It was not cleaned. It came straight out of the box as you see it. I put the red dot on it and shot it. Totally go out and buy this rifle for the price they're asking and forget about the price. Forget about it being budget friendly. Too many people harp on that. Always budget friendly. I'll go out and buy it because it's good for the money. No, this is good. I, I mean, if someone charged me $700 for this rifle, I would totally pay that from the experience I've had out here today. Yeah, surely I didn't run three, 400 rounds through it, but I put 180 through it in very short fashion and it was completely flawless. So I'll put a link up right now, right hand corner of the screen, click on the link, take you directly there to this rifle and make sure you go over, check me out on Patreon, consider supporting me. $5 a month over there really helps me to continue to keep doing these reviews and also check me out on rumble go over check out g squared tactical.com pick you up some hats shirts gears help support your favorite 2a channel but the most important thing is that you know jesus christ as your savior if you don't know and you want to know you can ask me in the comments ask someone you know thanks again so much for watching go out pick you up a bear creek arsenal bca 15 and as always to god be the glory